Um, I always want to take off any product that is on your brows before you do your brows. Um, and that's just going to make sure that the product stays on there long term. Because that's what we want. Okay, so I'm just going to spin up. Again, I'm using the medium. We have three colors. Um, please say hello when you hop on. I'd love to say hi and see what everybody's up to this week. Are you working on anything? What what you doing? Um, I'm just going to outline my brow first. So I start with the bottom um, up to the arch. And then you want to make sure that you have a good tail coming down to a point. Okay. Um, so then I'm going to do the same at the top. These pencils are really, really um, lightweight. So you get more of like a feathered look than just a deep, dark pencil line. Um, you definitely... It doesn't take much and it just fills it in really nicely. And then wherever the direction of your hair grows, that's where you want to, that's how you want to use your pencil. So mine kind of grow up right here. So I just like to fill in just a little bit and then I brush it out for just a little bit smoother look. Okay, love it. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one. Um, so our brow pencils are $20. And we also have a gel. Oh, sorry, this one's like kind of backwards for me. The gel is really nice too. Um, if you don't feel confident or whatever enough in drawing a pencil line, um, the gel, I'll show you here in just a second, is literally, it just looks like a little mascara wand for your eyebrows. And it just gives it enough color um, and depth and texture to kind of give yourself a little bit more brow when you just need, you just need some help. Hi, I'm just um, kind of getting started. So can you go sit for a few minutes? Um, okay. Another good tip that I like to use for brows is this. So the start of your brows should be from the corner of your nose straight up and down. Okay, that's where your the start of your brow should go. Then the center of your eye and the corner of your nose should be where your arch is. That should be right where you start to curve up for your brow. And then the corner of your eye should meet um, the end of your eyebrow and the corner of your nose. So if you line up your pencil to the corner of your nose, corner of your eye, corner of your brow. Okay, so kind of just a good little trick. Center and end. Okay, so again, three different colors, 20 bucks, amazing for brows. Here's the brow gel. These come in four different shades. We also have a clear. If you already have great brows and you don't need any extra um, color, you can have a clear to just give the texture and the depth for your brows, which I know a lot of ladies love just having the clear. So here's the brow gel. Just a little baby wand. Um, this does have natural fibers in here, and that's what attaches to your brows to last all day, is the fibers that attach to the hair. So clear, light, medium, and dark for the brow gel. Um, something else I wanted to show you because of our new fall launch, it's happening on Wednesday, and I'm so super pumped about the new stuff. There's a lot of new stuff, and one of them is these little baby blenderful sponge, okay? This is the full size. I do need to wash mine, so it's just got a bunch of foundation on there. But you can see the difference. So we have a five pack of 
blenderfuls coming. We have a five pack of mini blenderfuls coming. So what I do is I use this for my foundation and I use the mini for my concealer just so that um, they don't get mixed and then my foundation would be too light and blah, blah, blah. So that's what I do. Amazing little sponge. Um, they're, they're different because you can get it wet and it's not going to um, like kind of shred apart. Some of them hold too much product where when you get these damp, the product is still going to sit on top of the sponge to apply to your face and not waste it all in the sponge, okay? So I know a lot of you are like, oh, I see these everywhere. What is so special about this? That's what's special, okay? You're not wasting product by just having it be in your sponge or in your brush, then you're using more. So that is not the point. Okay, so the other cool thing I wanted to show you is we have, what do I, oh, I only have the one right here with me, but our perfect balms, okay? They're for lips and for cheeks. So I wanted to show you, this one is ruby red, and you can actually put a little bit right on your cheeks for some blush. Okay, so this is like the only thing that you even need in your purse. And for this, the fingers kind of just work fine. Spread it out a bit. And that gives you just a little bit of color to your cheeks. For the fall, for just a light look, you can see my lighting is terrible, you guys. I have to get a new mirror. My mirror broke. Ugh. Um, but for the fall, just a nice little bit of color to your skin um it's beautiful and then you can also put it on your lips okay ruby red super moisturizing and really easy you can just leave it in your purse and you're good to go um so the other thing is our lip liners okay i wanted to show you a lip color so we are getting we already have seven shades of lip liners and we are getting five more shades in the fall launch, which is happening this Wednesday. This Wednesday it's happening. It's gonna be available to you and for me on Wednesday at three o'clock, okay? So I wanna show you our lip liners are beautiful. They, um, what do I wanna say here? It's a self-sharpening lid so as you screw it on it sharpens the top of it for you again every time amazing so i want to show you this one is not one of the new ones yet i don't i don't have them yet um this is number seven Caber cabernet and i want to show you something cool i'm going to line the outer part of my lips with the dark color and I'm going to fill in my lips with the nude color. This is number one, I believe. Where is it here? Yes, number one is dark nude, okay? But the outside being a little bit darker is going to, it's going to show you something cool. So you just want to line the lip. It's been a while since I've done my lips, you guys. And I like to do this. You kind of make a little X. On the top of your lip. And then you can bring it down. Okay, that's that. That's my liner. The other thing is you can totally color in your lip with just the liner. And it is a beautiful matte color that is going to last so super long. Hey, everybody. Say hello if you're hopping on. What's everybody up to? Ooh, look at this 
most color for fall? Okay. You can see how beautiful these two go together. Just a little spot. And then, oh, I love it. So what that does with the outer, it's kind of like a um, highlight and contour like you would do on your cheeks. So you want, if you want fuller, larger looking lips, you want to line the outside with your darker shade. The inside, or even you can even just do the center with your lighter shade or with a gloss. Um, another trick is you can even put, here, I'll just show you. Um, you can see it's really matte, but it's not going to dry out your lips, promise. <laughs> so I'm going to use a little bit of my concealer. and put that in the middle. And that even gives a more plumper lip. So the more you can play with it, the more, I mean, you can create a ton of different looks. So one other thing I wanna show is I'm going to put a little gloss over the top. Um, nothing that's gonna change the shade or anything, but it's very, very pretty. And this, is one of the things that um, even comes in the starter kit for $69 for the rest of the month. Ah, I love it. Super, super pretty for fall. Um, again, these were just only the two shades that I have because I don't, I don't go that many places. I don't do a ton of lips. But when I do, I love to have fun and play around. So we're having five new shades of the lip liners coming out on Wednesday, okay? I used a little bit of the lip and cheek balm for my cheeks for a little bit of blush, the blush look. And then I did my eyebrows in medium. One second. Hold on, mama. Call you back. <laughs> um... Yeah, so the little bit of the Ruby Red Lip Balm on my cheeks, so that duos, which is amazing, saves you some money there. Um, and then my eyebrows I did in the medium. So super simple look for me today. I didn't do any eyeliner or anything, but I want to show off the lip liners. So yeah, if I can help with anything, let me know. If you have any questions about any of the products that I used today, um, obviously feel free to comment below or shoot me a message. So I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Stay positive, stay positive. That is like my go-to, okay? You can do it. So have a good rest of your week, guys.